Hi Pisces, it's Abby. Thank you for watching my video. Welcome to my channel. This is Rogue Pisces Tarot, where all I do is Pisces-centered content. If you're interested in that, you know, take a look around, subscribe if you wish. You know I love it when you do that. Um, leave a comment below if you want. You know all the stuff, all the YouTube stuff. Um, I'm going to do a quick little check-in for you guys today to kind of see what's going on with the energy um, the usual reminders this isn't a one-to-one -one reading it's a general reading you found on the internet so use your own intuition if any wisdom or um, nice advice or something that rings true for you comes through that's all I'm aiming for okay so might be a little might be a lot um, and if it you know doesn't apply let it fly it's all good just let it go love you guys so much thank you so much for coming by Ooh, I like this. How have you guys been? We just passed sort of the halfway point between winter solstice and spring equinox. Um, summer equinox? What is it? It's one of the things. So the halfway point. So spring's on the way, which makes me very, very happy. Okay, so we have two of air sitting here as the base of this reading. So what this feels like here is either a decision um, or someone that might, maybe it's sort of a stalemate kind of energy. Oh, whereas it feels like something isn't moving forward. There's a wish to move forward. There are some of you here who have other people who are weighing in on this or whose input you very much value I want to say, and it seems like there's a lot of kind of back and forths um, sometimes. You could be seeking counsel from other people, friends, family, people who know the situation. For some of you, there are also little signs and symbols, so if you have something like a um, an animal or a, a stone, a symbol, a a word, a something that, like even a flower or an herb or something like that, that feels like it's important to you. It feels like that has been popping up and you're, you're kind of trying to figure out what the message is, is what I'm seeing here. Um, in what you are focused on right now, we have the Fool. <laughs> fool energy, so Aries energy. Some of you may have Aries energy in your chart. Or there could be someone who is an Aries who is of importance right now. Um, this is giving me two things. Like the general message of the Fool is like the new beginnings, right? Starting off fresh. Um, kind of tripping on into the, into, the, into the newness of everything. Into a new goal, wish, opportunity, stage of life. That kind of thing. Um, for some also, it can be talking about foolishness. So whether or not there is maybe a fear of foolishness, appearing foolish, being foolish, being scared to take a step, um, wanting a new beginning maybe, but bit like holding off because there could be a sense of, oh shoot, like what if I don't do the exact right thing, right? This sort of influence here as I'm seeing it. And under that is the hermit. This deck is so pretty. Oh my goodness, okay. So for some of you, it's just like this very analytical energy is what I'm getting from it here. What you should be focused on, we have the seven of earth. So this is like, keep going on the things that are producing results for you. There are some things that you have perhaps gone like, is the, is the effort that I'm putting into this worthwhile? Now there are definitely things that maybe haven't come all the way to fruition yet, and I mean, I feel like there's a little bit more focus needed um, for some of you here, okay? Um, so basically, this is where your attention is and then where it should be. So it's more about the harvest, the things that you have grown before that have worked out, whether this is in love or relationships of any kind, or if it's in work or your dreams, like whatever that happens to be, okay? What your obstacle is right now, we have the nine of water. 
which is really interesting because your your obstacle and your biggest strength is what these two cards on this side are representing so your biggest obstacle right now we have the nine of water which is interesting because that is usually a card that is talking about our wishes come true right our the things that we want coming to us feeling very satisfied feeling very emotionally full and abundant um for some of you, this can also be a card for me sometimes of um, overindulgence of the senses to manage our emotions, okay? Um, because often cups represent water, right, in the tarot, or water represents emotions. And there are a lot of them, and this is always, almost always a card that shows one figure by themselves with all of these cups. In this case, is one person, they have all these beautiful apples around them. Um, and it feels like for some of you that could be an issue right now is like using um, some forms of abundance that could be available to you. So signs or symbols of abundance. So whether that's um, things that make you feel happy, whether that's substances or activities or um, spending money, like things like that, there could be something about that, some kind of overindulgence for some of you. For others, it could very well be that it's really hard for you to wish big right now. It's really hard um, to see things as being possible. And it, it feels almost like silly. Like you're, you're having this, um, even though this fool energy is here and perhaps there's this very delightful sort of impish energy in there that's like, you might be trying to push it down a little bit and be like really practical about it. Be like, no, 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 we're not, we're not going to get that carried away with things. It's quite a bit going on here. So if there's a particular person that you're about or that you're wondering about or that you're emotionally attached to, um, for some of you, it could be that you are really, really wishing on that specific person and then maybe having some trouble seeing love as a possibility. Maybe that, that thing isn't working out. So then it's like, oh, your wishes for love or romance in your life could feel very silly because maybe they could be focused in a certain direction or they could be focused in a way that is bringing you perhaps um, psychological pleasure, right? By fantasizing or, um, yeah, that's what it, that's, that's where it stopped. It was like, nope, that's it. So for some of you, that's the message. It's like if you're finding yourself in la la land after a specific person, rather than love itself, that could be an issue. For some of you okay if it doesn't apply let it fly right of course um that just might not be your message but it might apply to someone out there the your biggest strength right now we have the nine of earth which interesting right nines on nines so this feels like there are perhaps emotional cycles that you have yet to completely close with that nine of water right the ten is where we have a completion and it's like you're very nearing it um and then in your strengths, we have the Nine of Earth. So this is someone who is very, very good at being independent. Someone who's good at being on their own. Not necessarily, it doesn't mean you need to want to be on your own. It doesn't mean that you might not want interesting partnerships or friendships to find your like soul tribe, all of that kind of stuff. But this is letting you know that you do have a, a, a very grounded and good quality about you if you were to to really kind of sit hard in that belief and not in a way that's necessarily um rooted in ego or oh I don't need anybody you know I don't need anybody or anything because I'm good the world is nonsense blah 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 blah, blah. um because this is a person alone by themselves, but they are being aided by something larger than themselves. If you can see this gorgeous fox who's underneath them. So it, this has this sense, like I feel like sometimes we get, we lose sight of the fact that even though we can say, like I could stay here in my house and never leave it. And I could um, still manage to access food and water and all of the things, right? But there's... There are people who make the water come out of the tap, right? There are people who grow the food that I need to eat. Um, there are people who, you know, pr provide perhaps products, even if say you're a homesteader, maybe you're completely, you're like, you want to be off grid and just be away from people entirely. 
there are still people you might need to get lumber from. There's still people you might need to get products, a water pump, like whatever it is. So it's like we are much more connected um, than we may seem. And your independence can be a wonderful strength for you if you acknowledge that it's also a part of something bigger. There's a lot of confidence here too. So it feels like there's been some, some achievements in the real world that you have won, that you have sort of built your little, your little life for yourself. And it's really nice. In your advice, we have the King of Fire. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. So this, to me, um, it, Aries Leo Sag, fiery energy, okay? But this speaks to me of charisma, also of n sort of in a daring way, wishing to tackle the things that could be frightening. Um, finding things that could be within reason, of course, for all of us um, to do something that scares you a little bit because those things can be really, really exciting. So if you think about people, now you don't have to do anything so extreme, but if you think of something like bungee jumping or um, skydiving, sure, or even like for some people, like that's a, it can be a really scary and daunting thing for, for some people, um, but part of the fear is the excitement, you know, part of the fear leads into this like, wow, what if I get through this and it's fine. And instead of looking at things as an obstacle that we need to conquer or get past, it's, it sort of becomes almost gamified, right? The, what could the thrill be um, from taming whatever this is, from working through it, from learning how to handle this with some ease, with some Charisma. Charisma is the big one I get when I see this card. It's very charming because I always get snake charmer, um, which I don't always get when I see snakes. Snakes are also a sign of reinvention. So there could be some personal reinvention for you if you have, especially if you've been, you've been kind of like struggling to make a decision or you're sitting there going, well, I don't really have enough information to really go which way I want to go and I don't really want to look stupid about it. So I'm trying to think properly, but then you might be numbing yourself, right? It's that kind of thing. This is more like, this this version of yourself, right? That you could be stepping into or finding yourself very attracted or playing with the idea of stepping into, where maybe you take some more calculated risks, some safe risks. Um, it feels like that could be just a new side of you that could be super helpful in, in getting you to ach achieve your goals. I really like that. Um, your outcome, should you take that advice, is Elder of Air. So this is the King of Swords in this deck. So it seems like we have here from the Two of Air to the Elder of Air, right? There's no other air in the rest of the cards. So is the backdrop going from like some indecision, maybe a stalemate, feeling like you're not really sure which way to, to go, trying to get a lot of, you know, getting a lot of counsel from people? you come to a place of mastering that, of, of being able to be very exacting, um, always with the sirens, um, exacting and very specific in the way that you want to get things and achieving a level of success also, being someone that people look to for their logic and for their ability to make plans and execute them, um, that the way that you go about this doesn't ha necessarily have to be um, all like sort of <laughs> loosey-goosey night of fire, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be, but there's something about that energy that could be very helpful for you to, to get to a much more elevated point. Um, and also one where people, rather than you asking other people for counsel, you become the person that people go to. Uh, for some of you, that may have to do with, I wanted to say legal disputes as well. Could also be education in the legal system. If for some of you, there's something like that that you're looking into, I don't know, like being a lawyer is pretty self-explanatory, but there could be things like paralegal or being involved in some sort of the justice system for some reason. This card is giving me that as well. 
Interesting. Okay, I'm going to give you one of the Shaman's Dream Oracles, please, for my Pisces today. I hope there's something in here that has been helpful to you. Thank you for sticking around this far. What do we have for my Pisces? Something that will help them put this all together for themselves. Mmm. Okay, I like this. So we have 28 going into 10, hollow bone, and then also benefactor. So we have this grace, grace and generosity, which I really like. And then also hollow bone teachability. <sighs> so there could very well be someone around you that is able to lend you a hand in some kind of way to be like your benefactor, right? To, to, to show you some grace and some generosity while you're making this sort of transition. Nine of Earth, this being your strength. This could be someone who's holding a position like that, who has a lot to give and navigates those things with a lot of grace. And they may not necessarily be someone where if you're like, oh, I want to start my own business, where they're going to give you like, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Maybe there's someone who could grant you a loan. Maybe there's someone who could tell you the process and tell you how they did something or put you in touch with someone that they know um, who has know-how on how to achieve what you want. Hollow bone also here. So there is, are some parts of some kind of ancestral wisdom or like this is is giving me sort of a a further thing here so this feels like there's there are things that you are very very good at absorbing and some of them are related to your ancestry and your the line of your ancestors now that doesn't necessarily have to be only cultural um, although there could be some of you where there could be something that you know culturally that is specific to your culture and that you um, are actually able to, to turn into something that is very beneficial to you in whatever this situation is. But there's also a sense of like perhaps purpose from people that you have known. So perhaps by looking back at the things that you uh, know about people who came before you in your bloodline or even just the cultures that they came from, that there are things back there that are inspiring to you in some kind of way. I feel like generally for others, there's also just the sense of being very good at being teachable, okay? Um, some of you could be going into teaching or want to teach others, right? This sense of like through this process that you're going through, that you're tapping into today when you find this reading, if this reading is resonating for you, you're making your way towards a sense of being elevated um, and very wise and someone that people go to. So that only happens when we're able to learn and we're open to learning. Okay, so to close out, I'm going to do a Rebel deck card. Just because I like to keep it a little bit light, this does have cursing. If that distresses you for some sort of reason, then feel free to click away now. Lots of love. I'll see you on the next one. Um, but for the rest of you, what's on the floor here? Oh, interesting. So this says, don't talk to anyone, don't look at anyone. It says, you need some fucking time alone, and you know why. Interesting. That feels to me like people that you may have been going to for specific counsel, the ones that are maybe your go-tos, maybe the ones that are the loudest, they may have been giving you more reason to pause and stall than someone else who might be more beneficial to you. And that doesn't have to be someone you know directly. Sometimes it can be media, a book you read by someone in particular, um, motivational stuff that you find that you're just like, yes, like that speaks to me better. And I need to just, I need to block out whatever these other people are saying. Cause it makes sense, but it makes sense for them and for them from their perspective. And I need to do something different here with this full energy. Okay, guys, that's what I have for you today. I hope there was something in here that was helpful. If you liked the video, you know, subscribe, like. I love it when you do that. 
Um, but if this is where we part ways, I hope you find what you're looking for out there wherever you go. Um, take care of yourself and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.